and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about one of my new favorite places which is Isle of Skye, Scotland. Isle of Skye is truly such a magical place. I loved my time there. It was so beautiful and if you get the chance to go, I highly suggest it. And I wanted to talk today about seven must-do things while you're on Isle of Skye. Now, this list could be like eons and eons long. However, I did want to keep it pretty concise. Give it a starting point for your trip so that way you can kind of start planning with these uh, suggestions. And also because I was also not able to see everything that I wanted to see while I was on Isle of Skye. Uh, so hopefully there will be a part two to this in a set time to come. But today I did want to talk about the seven must-see things that you should see on Isle of Skye that I have personally seen and that I want you to see as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the first must-see on Isle of Skye. The first one I am going to group together because it is essentially the same thing and it is Melt, Waterfall, and Kilt Rock. This waterfall cascades into the sea below and it is absolutely stunning to see in person. The water is so like rushing and roaring and so beautiful, but also the wind where like the wind rushes through the rock and where the lookover is creates like this beautiful almost piano music. It is truly something you have to experience while you're there. I cannot explain it, but this is a must see when you are on Isle of Skye. It's a really quick stop so you definitely need to make time for it because it's beautiful and just like seeing this waterfall cascade into the sea, there's nothing like it. The second must see on Isle of Skye is the Old Man of Storr. So you've probably seen this specific like backdrop in a ton of pictures of Skye because this is a really popular thing to see in Skye but for good reason. Reason. The Old Man of Store is absolutely beautiful. It's this hike and there is a beautiful legend behind it which is why it has the name Old Man of Store. I highly suggest looking up like the background story just because it's really cool. The crazy thing is that the weather changed so many times when we were on this hike but it truly is just so beautiful and magnificent to see. I highly suggest doing it although I know it's really popular popular. There's a reason why it's so popular. The third must do that I want to suggest to you is the Krang. The Krang is this beautiful sweeping landscape that is made up of all these different like rock formations, beautiful green grass, hills, mountains, all of the above, and it is a beautiful place to hike through. And honestly, this was by far mine and Jamie's favorite thing that we did the entire time on Isle of Skye. What I loved about it was that we, when we got up early, there was not many people there, so we did feel like we had the majority of the trail to ourselves, um, but it's not a super strenuous hike by any means. What I love about it is that there's just something to see that is different every step of the way. There are beautiful formations and then there's also tiny little mushrooms and also sheep that are herding. It's just so amazing and against the backdrop of this beautiful aisle, I can't even put into words how stunning this place is. This is a must do when you come to Isle of Skye. If you do nothing else, at least do this. Trust me, it was one of my favorite things that we did and it's just so stunning. The next thing I want to talk about is Dunvegan Castle. And I love Dunvegan Castle for many different reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is that I feel like Isle of Skye is very nature oriented, which is right up my alley, but it's also great to kind of break it up with something that is historical, uh, which is really, really cool. And this castle is a perfect way to do that. The castle is so beautiful and it has really, really cool artifacts inside. It also has the fairy flag, which is a really cool legend in itself. There's actually three legends that go with the fairy flag. Highly suggest to look those up. Um, everyone kind of believes something different, so it's really cool to hear the different stories, but uh, they do have the fairy flag there and just tons of cool other things. Uh, what I also love about it is 
is the gardens. When we told everyone that we were going to Isle of Skye, literally almost every single person that told us that we were gonna love it also said in the same sentence, go to the gardens of Dunvegan Castle. And I'm like, okay, let's go to these gardens. And truly, they are beautiful. They're just so like big. There's so many things to see. I could have spent hours, honestly, in the gardens themselves. So I highly suggest going. Also, something cool about it is that you can take like little boat trips from Dunvegan Castle as well um, and go like seal searching and things like that. So there's just a lot of stuff to do. The castle is beautiful. Um, and yeah, it's a must see when you're on Isle of Sky. All right, guys, so the next one that I want to talk about is the town of Portree. Portree is the biggest town that's on Isle of Sky. Most likely, a lot of you that are going to Isle of Sky will either be driving through it or actually staying in it because that's where the majority of the hotels are on the Isle. Um, and it's absolutely the cutest little town. What I love about it is where our hotel was, we stayed at the Bosville, was overlooking the harbor with all those beautiful little like houses. And these houses have been in a few different really famous movies. What I like about Portree is that there's tons of really great food, lots of small little shops, and just like a really cute place to walk around. My next must-see is the Slagachon Old Bridge. And this is something that you'll probably definitely see on your way into Isle of Skye, especially if you are driving. This is something that you have to pass over in order to get to like Portree in that part of the island um, so you'll probably inevitably see it so go ahead stop there see what it's about um, I love this little bridge it's so cool and the legend behind it is super neat one of the reasons why I love Scotland so much anyway is because they just have so many cool legends with all these like really pretty cool beautiful places um, but the legend behind Slagachon Old Bridge is that if you dip your face into the water you're rewarded eternal beauty and I just think that's so cool Obviously, the legend is like much longer than that. So again, I suggest to look it up, but um, I love it because you get the backdrop of the mountains in the background and this like trickling water. It's just really picturesque and it's a great place to just get out and like really take in the vastness of Isle of Skye and how dang beautiful it is. The last on my must see places is the Fairy Glen. So unfortunately, I did not get to go to the fairy pools on my trip to Isle of Skye. This is something that I really wanted to go to, but I didn't. Um, so I can't suggest it yet, but hopefully in my next video after I go, I will definitely be able to. But I do want to suggest the Fairy Glen. What I love about the Fairy Glen is that it just feels like you're literally in another world. The Fairy Glen is like this really particular terrain that I have truly never seen anywhere else. Um, and you can climb on some of these hills to kind of overlook the terrain. Now, I do want to point out these stone circles. A lot of people say that they're like natural. Well, obviously they're not natural, but that they're like kind of part of the folklore of the area. However, that is not the case. Uh, this is actually people just putting those stones out there and it does cause erosion in the area. So if you see this, just remember that that's not natural. Maybe put the rocks back, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, but I did want to point out, like, leave no trace while you're there. But this place is absolutely beautiful. Again, surprise, surprise, there's a legend of fairies living here and that there's, like, this fairy house at the top of the hill and one of the, like, hills or I don't really know what you'd call it, a knob. I don't really know, but when you see it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, a really cool little area. Definitely a must-see when you're in Isle of Skye. I also wanted to give an honorable mention to a little place that captured my heart, and that was Uig. I loved Uig. I loved Uig pottery, to, to be <laughs> precise. Um, so Uig is this small little town on kind of like the opposite side of where Portree is. Um, if you bring it up on a map, you can see it. Um, but I loved Uig because I stopped there to get a little bite to eat. And this is also where you can hop on a ferry as well to go to different locations. So a good to know, that is a ferry stop. Um, but I really, really loved Uig pottery. 
I love like little handmade things from different places. It's like one of the things that I do purchase when I'm traveling. And I did purchase a couple mugs while I was there. Um, it is handmade. Art is really important to the people that live in Isle of Skye. I picked up a brochure that kind of explains all the different artists that do live on the Isle. And I just thought it was so cool. So I do highly suggest it. Uh, just like a bonus thing. Definitely if you're in Uick, stop by Uick Pottery. Now again, there are so many places that I wish we could have had the time to go to while we were in Isle of Skye. You know, we saw as much as we could and I really loved it. Any time is a great time on Sky, so uh, just make sure you try to see it all because it's absolutely beautiful, but I will definitely be going back and visiting all the places that I didn't before. But I do hope that this top seven list gives you a really great way to start planning your travels to Isle of Skye. This is a great start to get you started and getting a good idea of what you all are wanting to do when you're on the aisle. I hope you guys have the most amazing time when you're on Isle of Skye and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you can. It really helps me to get this video out to all those patrons that want to see it. I really appreciate it and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to join the family and again I hope you have an amazing time in Isle of Skye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye and happy travels!